Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hey, I want to show you some tips and tricks for when you're working with stuff that just doesn't want to work. For example, one thing is a waxy or a slippery surface when nothing will ink, nothing will glue, nothing will stick to it, tape won't stick to it. What to do? What to do? Okay, so i um, got a few trip, uh, tips here. Um, one thing I have is, uh, you may have seen these in... Um, you know, stores where you go pick up donuts or uh, cookies, things like that. There's these little um, parchment or wax paper things. This particular one has a very waxy surface on one side and a parchment feel on the other. But both sides repel ink and don't stick that well. So I'm just going to show an example of making a cute little paper bag. Let me just give you a little zoom. Oh, wow, that was a big zoom. Okay, that's even more. Okay, Pam. All right, so this is the prototype. It's a very simple bag construction, and I'll show you how to do that. And I just put in an interesting little um, uh, piece of Braille paper uh, just for a tactile uh, experience. Just something fun. All right, and uh, so let's make one of these, and I'm just going to show you some things as we make it to kind of help you get through these little things. Because these are great resources, but sometimes we just don't know what to do with them because they're kind of difficult to work with sometimes. Okay, so going to start with our basic tube design. Yes, our tube design. Okay, so now there's a couple things you can do. I would, I would originally wanted to seal my tube with washi tape, but I found that my washi tape wasn't uh, sticking as well as I wanted to. So I'm um, going to make my tube to make my little bag. And you can make, these are great for Christmas, the holidays, um, Valentine's, Halloween, you name it. You can make all sorts of uh, cute little bags all on your own. And let's say I want to use uh, this, this, this wild and crazy one here. Okay, I'm just going to say I want to use that. Um, but it's just not going to, like I'll put it down, but then all of a sudden it'll sort of just come off super easy. Well, if you run it over some Scott, not, ne not necessarily Scott create glue stick, but your glue stick, um, this is my favorite glue stick, <laughs> uh, like that, it's going to give it a much stronger adherence. So if you're working with washi, remember it's low tack tape. That's the way, what it's designed to do. Um, but sometimes we need high tack. You know what I mean? As different than high tech. This is high tech. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, okay. So that is go good. Now maybe I want to do the bottom of my bag and I want to give it a little, uh, uh, pinking on the bottom. So I'm doing that. And then, uh, this is my bottom. I'm going to bring them together. You can see, and I'm going to just nip the sides, snip the side. That was what I'm going to do. Okay. Now, there's a couple things you can do here, and all they both will work. Uh, you can come along, and you can also, you're going to have two layers here, okay? See the one and the two? Now you're like, oh, if I glue that one down, I still have an open bag, so I have to glue this one down too. A pain in the butt, right? So um, this is where you might come along with your, uh, oops, hang on, I'm getting my drawer here. Um, you can staple it. That's right, you can staple it. So you could do this glue, um, washi tape maneuver as I did here. Okay, that's what I did on this one. There's washi tape under there holding that closed. But this one, I'm just going to come along and staple it. Yeah, that's right. Yep. There we go. The bag is closed. That's right. There it is. All closed, all sealed. It's not coming apart. It is good. Okay, so now maybe you want to put something there because you're like, hey, and I'm gonna, you know, and you're like, I want more than that there. It's just a kind of plain, kind of plain. What are you going to do, sister? I'm going to grab either a piece of paper or a piece of fabric. I'm just diving into my scrapbook, my scrapbook. Where am I living? Lord only knows. Um, all right, what do I got? Okay, I've got this. Okay, let's pull that out. And let's go into the scrap box. Pull something out, Pam. Anything. You've got like a million here. Don't be selective. Okay. All right. Jeez, I'm so difficult. Um, how about this? Some scrapbook paper. And uh, let's just take a little bitty off. And the black and the, the cream, the black and the cream kind of, I've got a little theme thing going here. You like my theme thing? I'm going to try and cut a straight line. Not going to happen, but we'll do our best. Uh, you can also, uh, I, I'm just going to show you how you can... Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, you can cover the bottom. I hope I'm not zoomed too close. Am I making anybody sick? Uh, if I'm zoomed too close, I will slow down and zoom away. But you can't tell me. I know. Uh, but what you can do, okay, so it's very hard to ink this stuff. You're coming along. 
nothing sticking, nothing sticking. Maybe a little bit, but not to the degree that you want it to. But what you can do is you can ink the paper that's going on it. Yeah, so that will pick up ink. Okay, so now we're getting a little contrast and we're getting our, our little weathering and things like that. And you could tear these too. These don't have to be cut. They can be torn. A big favorite of mine. And that'll even pick up more ink on the edges. So then you can just come along and, and glue that there. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, I gotta ink the edge. Easy, right? I gotta back up a little bit. I think I'm making you sick. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm like over zooming. Whoa, hey. Okay, is that better? There we go. All right. All my ducks in their rows? I hope so. Okay, here we go. Using the thumb technique. Very easy to do. Covering the staples. And if anybody was wondering, that was the, not the Tiny Tim stapler. This is the Tiny Attacher by Tim Holtz, in case anybody was curious. Um, that's what that was. It, it just gives you tiny staples, which is really handy in the craft world when we're doing stuff. Um, you can also come over here and, and glue that a bit, but we haven't done the top yet, so let's not do that yet. Okay, so now the top, you can do many different ways. This one, I just I just cut across the top, nothing fancy, but this one, maybe I want to do an arc. Okay, so if we want to do a arc that looks the same on both sides, just fold your little parchment papery thing here, get your scissors apart, and make a little arch. There we go. Now we have one of those deals. We've seen bags like that, right? They exist and we have just created one. Now let's say you want to put something fun inside here. Well, maybe I want to make a little uh, journal tag out of this paper because it's, it's matching this. It's here. That would look really cute. Um, I'm rolling with it. It's rolling with me. Let's just pick a height so it sticks up a little bit. Maybe to there. And you can cut this, but you know me. I'm going to tear it. Okay, there we go. And then maybe we want to go to here. I'm measuring on the bag so I know it's going to fit in the bag. Okay. And now I can also um, ink this. And I think I'm going to ink this time with black soot. And the first time, just in case you're wondering, walnut stain. Yeah, a dark brown. And I, oh, I was playing with some ground espresso color the other day. It's a um, also one of these distressings, and it's even darker brown than the walnut stain. So um, almost like a black brown. Yeah. So there you go. You have options. I'm gonna. This is my black dauber. Um, okay. Here we go. All right. So this gives me nice contrast. It gives me, if you like the grungy of it all, this gives you that grunge effect. And you can do the back too. Let's say you want to, um, it to be uh, a little uh, mysterious and, and uh, spooky on the back too, or intriguing. There you go. All sorts of fun stuff there. All right. Okay, so now let's say we want a little floppy loo on the top because, you know, we like to stick things on the tops of our tags for some strange reason. We're always doing that. All right, let me, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring some pink into the, the color here. So pink and black and white. Ooh, that's such a cool combination, isn't it? I love that combination. Couldn't you just see a total pink, black and white uh, journal? Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be totally awesome. Um, okay. So I have made some, um, like if you're looking for, I've, cause I found this, um, I made some digi kits that have the, it's called the pink theme and then there's the green theme and then there's the red antique theme. So if you're looking for a certain color, um, that might, uh, help you if you're, if you're doing stuff like that, color themed. Color themes are some of the easiest themes to start with because you just basically go through all your stuff and look for everything pink or everything red or everything green or everything blue, whatever you like. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that there. And with our old trusty friend, Fabrifix, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Here's what it looks like if you've never seen it. It's a, uh, I like a clear silicone glue. It works really well. Um, not sponsored, just like it. Yeah, I'll just tell, tell you what I, this is what I use. This is what I use. Um, you can use any glue, really. It's okay. Yeah, and if you want to put a little stamp on the back because you're feeling frisky, like maybe it's time for a squirrel. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to, uh, somebody said they want to see what my hands are doing. Okay, my hands are now going for the, <laughs> the peg stamp and they're they're in, they're inking. Yeah, probably doing that all wrong. Okay, just stamp a squirrel. Yeah, you can never go wrong with a squirrel. Probably should have put him on the other side so he's looking into the page as opposed to running away, but he is a squirrel. So, you know, he's all over the place. Let's put his brother down here for fun. Really not necessary, but I still have ink on there, so. 
There you go. His brother's down there. All right, so now we have... In there. We have this little guy, and how cute is that already, right? I mean, that would be just adorable to tuck into a journal, clip onto a page, you can glue the back down, um, or you can keep it as a removable, tuck the whole thing into a pocket or a tuck. That might be cute. I'll show you in a... Hang on, I got, I got a journal here. Okay, what we got? See, I mean, wouldn't that be just cute? You could, like, add that to uh, something like that. That would be really cute. Or, um, oh, hey, here, there you go. There's a nice spot for it. Um, you know, there's like a million and one places that this little guy could go. I mean, he could just really go to town. So you have options. I just want you to know that you have options. Okay, so another thing to think about when you're working with slippery, shiny surfaces. Oh, you can always come along and do this. I haven't done this yet. Let me do that. Well, let me show you this one first. Okay, so the other one, if you were wondering what this pink stuff is on there, I thought, well, my gelatos are kind of waxy and like dissolves like, if you remember from chemistry class. So maybe the waxy surface will work well here. Not the right pink. Oh, well, too bad. Um, you can use your finger and smoosh it around. So what you cannot do with the inks because they won't stick to the waxy thing, you can with the gelatos, these little... I call them adult crayons. Some people have issue, take issue with that, <laughs> but they're gelatos and they come in many different colors and then you can just, you know, have fun with it, you know, that kind of thing. So what's this? Here's a distress crayon. This thing probably doesn't work. I think this thing is um, water soluble too. Okay, just, I'll just see if I can smear it. Yeah, it smears. Okay, finger smearing. I like finger smearing, it's fun. So you can add a little color to your waxy surfaces using waxy things. Okay, so probably, I haven't, I haven't tried a crayon, I don't have a regular crayon, but that might work yeah, onto a waxy surface. Okay, so so we have a color hue going there. See that? Very hue-ish. Okay, so now, um, let's say I really wanna stamp a word on here, but I can't get the word on because it won't stick. So if I wanted to come along with the word dream and just stick it in here and poop it here, it's not gonna work. So let me just demonstrate. Now it'll probably work, so let's just, just, just see. All right. No, nothing. Okay, did you see that? Nothing. No. Da, 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 da. Nothing. <laughs> Proof in the pudding, right? It doesn't stick. I wonder if it's going to stick on the gelato. It shouldn't because it's waxy, but let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Oh, a little better. Look, I don't know why that happened, but apparently we have just discovered something new on camera. You can stamp on gelato. Well, let's, let's just go with that and see what happens. Um, now I'm really curious. Okay, I want to see if this is a true thing or am I just making this up? Am I making this up? You're, we're going to find out right here. Okay, let me get a different word. I need a different word. Oh, okay. How about vintage? That's a great word. Okay. Vintage. Okay, here we go. All right. I don't, I, I don't know if it... Well, let's just see. Shush and experiment, Pam. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, I know we're close, but I just want you to see if it really works. Okay. Da 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 Oh, it does work. Now, I wonder if it smears off. That could be. Yeah, that could very well be. Okay, so let's let's let it dry, and I'll do the finger smudge, and we'll all see if it smears off. off. I don't know, because gelatos, once they dry, they are kind of stay where they are. They move around initially very easily, but then they sort of stay where they are. Okay, so we go back smaller. Yep, well, that was it, Pam. Go back small. Small. Okay, right there. Okay. And um, well, we will do the finger smoosh to see once it's dry. But what I want to say is that if you cannot stamp directly on your thing, because maybe you don't have gelatos and you're like, oh, that's great for people who have gelatos. I don't have gelatos. Um, you have a funny voice, I would just like to say. <laughs> um Kind of, you kind of sound like Marge Simpson. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My husband always says, you sound like Marge Simpson when you're doing your voices. Okay, but what you can do is you can stamp on paper or you can stamp on fabric and that'll absorb the ink very nicely. So let's just do that. All right, I am, I am right here. I am just over here and I'm cutting apart some kind of linen something or other. I think it was a, I want to say it was a, Curtain, bed skirt, I don't know what it was, honestly. It's just a weird thing. But uh, I grabbed a little piece of linen off it. It was, you wanna see what it is? I'll show you. It's this. All right. It's this thing. I don't know what it is. Okay, it has some kind of Velcro. What, what is that? I don't know, I mean, it's not Velcro. I don't know what it is, but it was a, a weird thing. I thought it was cool, so I grabbed it at the thrift shop. 
Uh, so anyway, that's what this little piece came off of. So l make sure you look in the linen departments, look in the bedding when you're in the thrift store because you're going to get a lot of material for next to nothing. So you're going to love that. You're going to be full of supplies going, oh my gosh, I could make, I could make little things till the cows come home. Okay, so now I just ruffled the edges a bit. We were too far away. Oh, it's just too close. There, just right. Okay, Goldilocks, you just settle down. All right, so I have this, and I can either leave it white for a nice contrast, which is fine, or if I want to dirty it up a bit, grungy it up a bit, um, you can do that. You just come along here and make it a little dirty. All right, here we go. This is good dirt. Yeah, this is the kind we like. Yeah. All right, maybe I'll do multicolors because that, that um, gives it more mystique. And then, okay. Um... See, I can still see the ink is wet there, so it's not absorbing into anything. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, I see shine. Yeah, and shine to me says smear a Rooney. Now, I'm sure you could go over that with Mod Podge or a spray acrylic sealant or something like that. But, you know, sometimes you just want to make something. And, uh, okay, so let's stamp a word on here. Let's try dream again. We're feeling very dreamy with this one. I don't have my little spongy thing underneath, but I got a good dream because the material I guess is its own sponge so it's a little cushy underneath and uh maybe I just want to put that there and if I feel like I need more something behind it because it doesn't really stand out all by itself maybe I want to put layer something behind it like here's some more old braille paper let's just try this gray that's kind of cool up with the blacks and the pinks the gray might be nice I'm just going to give it a little ruffled edge all the way around a torn edge not ruffled and I can ink this. Uh, here's another thing I can ink to get more pop with this uh, project. I'm looking. I'm scared. Okay, there it is. I'm going to use the black because we're doing black, white, and pink. It's okay to toss in a little brown. Just here, I'm tossing just to make it look a little more old and weathered. Okay, maybe run over the braille dots a little bit. Pick that up a little bit. And then maybe I'll just do... Something like that. I could totally do that. Okay, let me, you want me to do the finger smear test? I should probably use a clean finger. Let me see, let me see. I'm cleaning my finger. Okay, here we go. There, is it clean? Not bad. All right, we don't want it wet because that won't work. No, dry, dry. <sighs> okay, it's gonna smear. It's just gonna smear. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you in for this because I, I needed to see you. This disaster close. If it doesn't disaster, then I'll be very impressed. But it looks wet. It looks wet to me right there. And I don't want to wait longer than that because it's just not going to happen in my world. Ready? One, two. Oh, yeah. Didn't. Okay, so that is what we call an epic fail. But now we know. Let's, let's repeat that. Double epic fail. So we know that if you stamp with dye inks on top of waxy surfaces... They may look like they're grabbing it, but it's just a uh, an imaginary hope. Yeah, it's like pipe dream, pipe dream. Okay, and we kind of knew that, didn't we? we? We're like, we're adults here, right? So now I have no words on here, so I'm totally okay adding some words because now all of a sudden it stands out. So this is your back door out of that. You can stamp onto fabric, you can stamp onto paper, you can double layer them for extra fun. And then if you use something like a glue that will adhere to just about most things, um, uh, you're going to be good. So let's go ahead and put this here. And there we go. We have that little guy there. I maybe want to do something up here. You know what? I can't, um, can't ink it because it's not going to stick. But maybe I can... What can I do? I can come along with this Distress Crayon, which is a black. I just grabbed it because it was black. And I'm going to run this around here. And I'm going to use my finger power to smoosh it. And that's the way I'm going to get the, the darkened edge. Let's see how that worked. Was that fabulous or no big deal? Not bad. Not bad. I got a bit of a darkened edge there. I can always go in and add more. You can always add more. Yeah. And I think these are water soluble, but I don't really don't want to add water at this moment. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Um, this is kind of coming apart here, so I, maybe I want to come in with a little bit of ever fix just to get in there. Down. Okay. That seems to, to like the stay down there. Okay, so now we have, we have this. I mean, it's kind of a weird thing, right? But... Um, we're experimenting with this little guy to see where we can take it. Maybe we want to put something at the top here. I feel like it needs something there, like 
Oh, I know what it needs. It needs a bird. You know, when you don't know what to do, grab a bird, okay? So here's a bird. Okay, a bird. All right, you, you might look good there. Oh, you're actually the same bird. Look at that. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, how about you? Do we need a different bird? Okay, blue bird? No. Red bird? Okay, maybe red bird. Okay, we'll just make you look uh, pink. We'll pretend you're pink. All right. Do we want your egg and everything? Sure, why not? Why not? Um, here we go. All right. Yeah, that looks nice. But now let's let's emphasize it up a little bit because we can. Because we can. This one I did in brown. Maybe I'll do this one in black with a little bit of brown. Okay, let's try that as a comparison. Here we go. It's going to make this little birdie boo pop a little bit. So basically there are lots of ways to work with waxy things um, and still get pop and still look grungy and that kind of thing. So how about we put you there? Do we want a little brown on you? Maybe just a little. Just not much, Mom. Okay. Well, you're, Mom, wait a minute. You're not, you're not my kid. Uh, um, nothing came off of that one. This is like the, the most bone dry brown uh, dauber. Okay. I put a new spongy on here and this one doesn't seem to want to pick up ink. I don't know, I must have got it at Bargain Basement Spongy Corral or something because, uh, yeah, there we go. So that pops and we have a little action going on there, right? And you can even see the little egg which has some pink in it. Which, oh, it's just setting everything off. Yay. All right, let's put some glue down. Um, I would say probably a stronger glue, like something that's going to grab this. <sighs> okay, in you go. There we go. All right. And we're good. Okay, there. All right. Nope, there. Um, and there we go. So let's uh, let's try another one of these and do some different things. Do I do I have one? Hold on. And um, I got another one. So you can really make a ton of things from these little waxed parchment paper thingies. Now you may get some because you went to Dunkin' Donuts and maybe they have a few of these in your bag. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Or I'm, I won't tell anybody. Or you could um, just buy a box of these. They're not that expensive, and you get a bajillion in a box, so they'll last you forever. You'll be like, how many bags can I make, Pam? How many? How many? Um, okay, so I'm making my tube, and we'll do this pretty quickly because because we have ideas now. Oh, I know what I want to do, and I don't know if it's going to work, so we're going to try it. This is a new thing. Um, let's try. Let's try with this one. Okay. Uh -uh. A little bit of washi tape stuff, and we're going to use the glue trick with the thumb. Here we go. Thumb. Okay, thumb maneuver. Get this down. Okay, we have... Oops, no, see, I had to move at the last second, didn't I? So you have... You can rearrange these. There, that's fine. Let's do the um, fold at the bottom. And, uh, um... Oh, yeah. No, let's do this. Let's do this first. And then let's fold it together. Um, where's the little scissors? Oh, here. Uh, and do that. Okay. And then, uh, now that's, that's our bottom. Okay. And, uh, okay, so I will, what will I do? I will, um, I'm going to fold this up. That's my bottom. Yes, we heard you say that, Pam. Um, and I'm going to actually seal it with this uh, washi tape because you didn't actually see me do that on the last one, which is riveting. I know. I know. I know. Run it over the glue stick. But we're going to do something different on this one, so just hold your hats. Um, and I am going to... I don't know why I cut it with the thing. I'm covering it completely. So, yeah, you don't really need to use the uh, uh, pinker pinking shears. Okay. Um, but uh, that's going to seal nicely. So now let's close this. And we'll... Uh, maybe we'll do a straight one across. Okay, this is a straight one. Okay, so we have that and we are good. Now, what I wanted to try, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try two things. I'm going to try uh, 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 modeling paste and I'm going to try, where is it? Where is it? It's right here. No, no, it's not here. Where is it? Is that it? No, okay. Um, yes, base, white gesso. White gesso. We got some white gesso. So white gesso is like white thick paint. And we're going to see if the white thick paint now sticks to this. Okay. All right, here we go. The white gesso. Of it all. I'm just going to use my fingers because it's easier. I'm right here. I'm just going to white gesso this. Okay, I don't know if it's going to stick. It's kind of bubbling up like it's not happy. Oh, look, i got everything everywhere. Just always have a baby wipe. 
And let's just see if that dries. I mean, who knows? It might dry or it might not, but it kind of gives you a cool look on it. Let's just see. Let's just let that be grand experiment of it all. And I'll, you know, flex it and stuff and see if it pops off. We'll, we'll see. Oh, it's actually, it's like naturally crackling. You know what I mean? That's happening before our eyes. So there is some waxiness on the parchment side. And then I'm going to do modeling paste. So let's kid up, pick out a cutie little stencil. I'm bending over. Yeah, you don't want to see that. Um, okay, here's a cutie little stencil. Um... Okay, let's do this because it's convenient, it's the right size, and I can put it right here without muddling too many things. And then I'm just going to grab what looks like some kind of goofy old, um, I don't know, I guess it came in the mail. It's nothing important. It has no personal ID on it. Okay, here we go. Squeezing. This squeeze tube one is really handy, but any of them will work. It just, I don't know. I like it. Here we go. I don't know if this will stick. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, that's it. Edit in all the holes. Am I out of substance? Do I need more? Don't move, Pam. Oh, did I? I got it all over here. Look at I didn't have it in the right spot. I think I have just uh, modeling pasted my desk. Yes, very nicely. Okay, we will we will figure that out in a second here. Let me get I got a little more. I got nothing here. I don't need to reload. You just gotta see where your stuff is. Yeah. That was good I didn't to know where your stuff is. Okay, here we go. Ready? The big reveal, one, two, three. Yay, I did it to my desk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, when it's still wet, you can just wipe it up. Yeah, it pretty much just, yeah, comes apart. Now I have no idea what will happen with that. So let me um, air dry and blow dry it for a little bit. And then I will come back in one second and we will do the scrunch pop test. See if it all stays or it just comes off. Just in case you've never seen one of these before, this is a heat embossing hot air gun. Um, you can get these at any of the craft stores or on, online, and it just helps things dry faster. It gives heat, but doesn't blow everything away the way a, a blow dryer would. So there you go. Okay, I thought of one more thing we can do while we're waiting for this to dry. I did blow dry it. These are, they feel dry, but they're like a little damp, you know what I mean? But there's one more thing that we can try on here that, it, what, remember, like dissolves like, and also maybe like can be applied to like, we shall see. How about some waxy uh, gilding paste? Let's try that. we got some gold going on here. Let's just see if this will take. I think it will. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Oh, that's kind of pretty. I hope you can see the prettiness of that. Yeah, that's probably even nicer than the gelatos. It's just, oh, and this stuff smells so good. I love this stuff. I can't find this brand anymore. They don't, I don't think they make it, but this one works just as well. Maybe we'll try it with the other one too so you can see. I do have faith in the other one. Uh, this was a Pentart brand that I tried, and it seems to be just as fine. Um, but I just, I really love this because it has an orange smell. Oh, it just smells so good. So anywhere there's a ridge or something that it, your finger can pick up, that, that's good, right? Okay, there's a couple of wet dots there. We're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with that. But maybe we could go over these a little. Let's try. Okay, here we go. Ready? Hey, let me come to you. Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm right in your face. I know. Okay, I'm not gonna move. I've got gold on my finger. I'm turning over. What's happening? It's flexible. That's so weird. It's probably not dry. Maybe I should leave them white, huh? I don't know. What do you think? Gold? White? I kind of like the white. Yeah, I'll just put a little gold on that one because I put some in there. Yeah, he's not dry yet. Um, but he doesn't seem to be breaking off, which is good. Now the paint. Okay, let's back up a little bit so we know he's getting seasick. Seasick, sorry. Okay. Nope, no, I gotta touch this. There, focus. Oh, yeah. No, it's staying. Oh, there's like a little because it's still a little wet. But where it's dry, it's staying, okay? There's a little coming off because there's like little puddles. So if I would have been patient, like a good crafter, it would, I think, dry upon itself. Now, obviously, if you came along with a fingernail and scratched it off, you'd probably get it off. But I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, very pretty, like white and gold. And we could do a black accent. Let's let's just do, do a little black accent, right? Okay, we'll do one quick. Um... Um, and um, um, let's grab a little piece of uh, maybe white paper this time. We haven't done that. Okay, so this is a very, um, oh, I just found this though. This is kind of pretty. Maybe we'll do this. This is like some coffee dyed paper. Let's do that. Yeah. Forget the white paper. We'll just put that on there. That will look cool. 
Th those ones that become too brittle or crunchy, you can break those up and just use those as, as cool things. Uh, maybe I will put, oh, I have this little piece of nondescript here. And I am going to just tear. This is just copy paper. Very handy. If you got nothing else, you got copy, copy paper. You are golden. You are golden. Golden. Okay, we were, said we were going to try this, right? Okay, let's try it. Okay. Waxy, waxy. Maybe I'm going to edge this guy. Mm -hmm. See, he, he golds too. Yep, just like as good as well as the other one, honestly, he does. He's so he's sick. If you're wondering, is that one worth getting? I would say, yeah. I mean, I'm happy with that brand. It, it, it seems to do well. Um, so we're going to do that. Okay, I can't pick this up now. Okay, we have this. And I think I want to do that. And then I want to put it there or maybe down here. I don't know yet. But let's glue this. Uh, we got about here, here, I don't know, where, where, bam, how about here, okay, and then we'll put this down, and then we'll stamp it, probably should have stamped it first, but yeah, we're just rolling with it, like that, maybe, oh, that's really wild, okay, we've gone off the map with that one, let's grab a funky little word, oh, here's a nice word, we have, Blessings. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Um, here we go. Big finale. Big finale. All right. Can you see? Can you see? No, nope, that's the other way, Pam. Down. Come to me. Come down to me. Okay. Got to remember way to remember that. Okay, here we go. I hope it's the right way. I hope it's the right way. There. Did it. So if you know that your uh, stamps are going to stamp well on white paper, nice and porous. Uh, we need one more thing, and I just feel it definitely needs it. Um, I need like a gold bow or something goofy at the top. Um, let me find something. All right, I'm, I'm ferreting. I'm ferreting, I'm ferreting. Where's my gold stuff? Here's my gold stuff. Okay, no, that's orange. Gold, please. Hello, gold, not silver. I have a whole, gro there it is. Found it. It's okay, everybody. Don't worry. Oh, I found a piece. I got something. <laughs> okay. Let's just tie a little bow. Bunny ears. You know, if you want your little tails down, the bunny ears, for some reason, gets the bow tie tails going all in the right direction. Okay, and if you get giant jumbo bow like this, you just pull and get to the size you want. Pull tight. Okay, and if you're still too big, you just, just give it a little yankaroo. Bring it down to about where you want. And your tails are magically at the bottom. I don't know why that works, but yeah, old bunny ears is the trick. For at least for me. Um, and maybe I'm just going to put that there. Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, I love that. I love that. And, uh, you know, I, I, I want to nest it on um, cheesecloth. Oh, are you going like ridiculously? F You're having fun, aren't you, Pam? Yes, I am. I'm, 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 I'm crafting. This is Pam crafting. <laughs> okay, this is a, a little tea dyed or coffee dyed piece of cheesecloth. I'm going to stick that down there first. Doesn't take up much room. I'm going to use the old Fabri Fix. Yeah, I'm using this again because I, I like the fine tip. And my hand was getting tired squeezing the big one. So this one is, is softer. So if you have tanned issues, maybe use the Sugar Bells icing piping bottle. Transfer your Fabrifix in here, and then you get a fine stream of glue. And the bottle's very easy to squeeze. So yeah, I kind of know that. Yeah. OK, we go back and forth here a lot. We do. We do. So there, there you go. All right, so get that down. Put this little guy here in the center. Boop. There we go. And then we are glued. He's not going to come undone because he is what? Glued. Yes. Good. Way to go. Okay. You can leave those as long or as short as you want. Maybe that's a little long. We have to at least stay on the page here. Okay. And I'm just going to leave him dangly and I can put something cute in him like this weird card, which I would not do, but you know, you can put a little uh, something or other in there. It would just look adorable, right? That's so pretty. And, um, Okay, so let's take a quick recap of what we made. Um, so we made this, and we made this. <laughs> this needs something up there, doesn't it? Yeah, I probably would add something up there, I think. So no, I'm, I'm reflecting back on it. Uh, so I hope you um, enjoyed these little tips and tricks of working with uh, shiny, waxy, 
parchment paper stuff that just doesn't seem to want to stick, maybe glassine as well, toss that in there. And um, go have some fun for gosh sakes, what are you staring at me for? Um, <laughs> have lots of fun and thank you for everybody for hanging out together. It's so wonderful to know that you guys are out there and uh, maybe this needs a bird. I know it probably doesn't, but I'm just gonna add one while I'm talking here. And um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. They're all audio and they're free to listen to on Apple and Google and Spotify. And um, I have a Facebook group if you want to join the Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there, weekly, monthly challenges, and also seeing what you guys make from these videos. Uh, thank you for all of your ideas and inspiration. I love them, love them. And um, oh, I, I have a free monthly email newsletter. You get a free digital image emailed to you every month along with a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, um, junk journal tip, updates for me. You get to see the new and up and coming digis. I mean, it's just a whole hoot nanny worth of fun. That, that, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. And uh, I'm gonna try glue stick, see if that works. All right. And uh, it must because I put used it with the tape. Um, I have an Etsy shop where you can find my vintage digi kits for print and download. I also have a print and mail service. If you pick out 10 digi kit names and send me the list either via email to pam at the paper outpost.com or message me via Etsy with your list, then I can go ahead and print those out and mail them to you. There's a separate charge for that. Um, and just click on the print and mail option and then those will be on their merry way to you. And uh, um, I also have an Amazon shop. So if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies and stuff, weird stuff like this. Um, you can find that in my uh, Amazon shop. I have a um, Instagram. You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And um, all my links are in the drop down description box below the video on the PC and it's somewhere on the phone too. And you can probably find it other places, but all the links are down there. And um, um, if you find value or had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share. And oh, Mr. Snugglebuns has something to say. Do you like to say something, Sonny? Yes, Mom, I would, I would like to say something. I don't know what I'm going to say. This is, okay. Oh, God, she's got the super zoom on. Oh, goodness. Hello, everybody. Hello. It's Sunshine here coming to you from the craft room of the Paper Outpost. And uh, this is very impromptu improv here. I, I really didn't have anything prepared for today, but what's that over there? What's, do I smell something from coming from the kitchen? Yes, you do. You know what it is? No. Tell me what. Is it food? Is it something for us to eat? No, it's uh, avocado dye to make more pink paper. Oh, that's fabulous. I think avocados are very bad for dogs, so that's that's really not on my menu, Mom. What are you thinking? Uh, I'll have backup. Don't worry. Okay, because, uh, you know, I get hungry. Oh, I'm going to sleep now, Mom. <laughs> oh, look, I'm awake again. Look at that. Okay, uh... Oh, I'm going to sleep again, Mom. I love you. Good night, everybody. It's morning, silly. I know, but I got, I, a puppy has many nights. Okay, fine. Fine, I understand. Go back to sleep. We appreciate your 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 um, impromptu public service announcement. <laughs> He's a little stinker bum. Uh, oh, he was chewing my mother-in-law's toes like crazy yesterday. It was so funny. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you guys that. Okay, so um, remember everybody that fun can be simple. It's only paper and create with reckless abandon. And we will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.